Today I'm tackling this really dirty oven. You should plan in about an hour for an oven that's very dirty or even longer, but today I'm gonna to do everything I can to make it as fast and as clean as I possibly can. So let's start the timer and get started. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'd love to see you again and have you as a subscriber and also the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. To start with, I'm pulling out the oven racks. These need some cleaning and I'm not gonna get to them today, but I'm gonna tell you my secret for cleaning them. Put them in a tall kitchen plastic bag with about two or more cups of ammonia. You don't need to soak it in ammonia. That's not the point. It's the fumes that clean it, but leave it overnight at least. And you might even empty it if it's really dirty and put new ammonia in. So I'm gonna tell Chantel, whose oven we're cleaning today, to go ahead and do that and we'll check back with her at the end. But today we're just gonna tackle the inside of the oven. So let me take these out and we'll get these soaking. If your oven is really dirty or if you just wanna watch how clean I can get it, go ahead and grab your cleaning supplies and let's get started and clean this oven. The first thing I'm gonna do is scrape and clean off any loose debris. We've got some crumbs and stuff in here and I'm gonna to try to get off as much as I can mechanically before I bring in the chemicals. All right, now I'm gonna vacuum out these crumbs. And this is my trusty, my very favorite vacuum cleaner. It's a little bit expendy, but I use it all the time. It's just a handheld cordless Dyson. I'm just gonna vacuum up everything I loosened up. Okay, next I'm gonna use my Zep Industrial Degreaser. This is a purple kind. This is what restaurants use and it is more industrial. You have to be careful not to get on any of the elements or anything, but I'm gonna spray down the whole thing and let it sit for 20 minutes. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate the smell of oven cleaner. The fumes just are so toxic. Even self-cleaning ovens are pretty toxic and I hate how it makes my house smell and how long it takes. So today I am doing this, I'm using Zep and this is a household cleaner. They also make industrial cleaners, but it doesn't have the strong fumes. I am not coughing, I'm not wearing a mask, <laughs> but I'm just gonna saturate the whole thing with this. Now, in the past, I was a total purist and I only steam cleaned my oven, but I decided that I wanted to make this faster and easier and then I could use some chemicals. So today I'm using Zep and then the rest of the time, I'm gonna be using my Tosca steam cleaner. Now, this is at 284 degrees and it gets up to 315 degrees. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this because I'm a huge steam cleaner advocate and fan. We have another review of the Neat steam cleaner. This is their industrial one and I bought it several years ago. It was like $900, yeah. So it's not cheap at all, but I wanted to bring in the big guns, but you don't have to have this heavy duty of one. I just kind of like invest in this. It's one of those things I plan to only have one my whole life. Okay, so I have the lance tool and then we have to have an attachment, which I'm gonna show you. So this is the steel attachment. You can't see it very well, but it's just a little, it's stuck in here, because this is what I use for ovens. But I put a scrub E over it, and then it just fits on this tip. I'm gonna go over the supplies that I'm going to use that you might wanna use too. I have microfiber cloths, I always clean with them. Um, usually Mr. Sega, which I'll put a link to in the video description. Then I have these. These are Scotch-Brite Advanced Extreme, Extreme Scrub Scouring Pads. So I've got that. And why do I have a fly swatter? <laughs> Actually, I wanted to use a paint stick. You know, if you go to the paint store, they'll give you a free wooden stick. That would work better, but I forgot it. So I'm using this, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna use it for in a little bit. And then I have my Tosca steam cleaner that I talked about. It's almost heated up. We're at 285 now. And to begin, 
we're just gonna wipe it down with paper towels. And why paper towels is because I don't wanna get all my microfiber cloths really greasy. I have these left over from when I made DIY bleach wipes. So I'm just gonna wipe down the whole thing before I steam clean it. Ideally, you can leave this soaking longer. Oh wow, some of that's going right up. Whew. I'm gonna use a lot of paper towels here. I'm going to start my stain cleaner. The, the one quality I wish that this stain cleaner had that the Neat has, their other model that's kind of more like a $200 model, model is it has a lock so this will stay down. The Tosca doesn't have that feature and I'm going to miss it, but it's still so much more powerful. actually unhinge the whole door of your oven take it off it's a kind of a two-person job set it down and do this that way I'm just gonna give you an idea because I'm not gonna go to that length uh, this time but if you have a fly swatter or a ruler just put a microfiber cloth actually like this you can like wrap it but this one's a little thicker so there's grates at the bottom of your oven door and this will fit <laughs> see inside and you can kind of you know do your best to get anything that's in between the glass that's the hardest part to get that's coming up so right Let's open the oven and look. I mean, it's shining and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It took a full hour, guys. I mean, there's some YouTube videos that seem like they snap and it's clean. If you find out how to do that, let me know. I think it's a witchcraft, but <laughs> this is looking great. So we just need to do the oven racks and we're all finished. And so thanks so much for joining us today. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. If you're into steam cleaning, we have a whole video that shows us steam cleaning. And I'll put a link to that video and we'll see you in the next video.